Yeah, I'm here with Katie, Dave and Gwilym from Mondelez International and um, as you can see, there's puddles everywhere. This is uh, Cadbury's latest innovation and it tastes pretty good. It's got a runny filling. How have you done it, Dave? Um, it was quite a challenge actually. In some ways it's, uh, it's actually more robust than chocolate. It doesn't melt, but the challenge has been actually to keep it runny. So okay. you're right, the concept is puddles and um, the liquid runny filling um, and it's actually just keeping it so that when you're in store it's as runny as the day we made it has been the challenge. So what, what exactly is it inside uh, the chocolate? Um, it contains some chocolate, it's yep. got hazelnut as well, so um, it's a lot of some of the technology we use from caramels as right, well, okay. um, but we've really adapted our skills of using caramel and chocolate and put them together and got this runny filling. Okay, so I imagine there's a few technical challenges and, and Gwilym, you're going to show me um, how you go about, on a smaller yeah. scale of course, uh, making some puddles. Take a bag. Okay. So the tricky part is to make sure it's very neat, so you need to keep the filling just okay. into the puddle. Okay. Right, so I'll show you. Okay, that's, oh, you've done it? that before, haven't yeah. you? Oh yeah, yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> then you just stop to make sure you don't do any tails. Okay. How's that? Yeah, like this. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. So, so what you're seeing there, Rob, is um, some of the challenges of why this took so long is it's not just the recipe, but how you actually can handle it. It's really runny. Yeah. So there's a lot of learning to do in terms of the factory as well. Um, and actually, you notice when you ate that chunk earlier on, the chunk all melted in your mouth. It didn't all run down your shirt. So the mould design has been very specific to be fun, but also so that you can break the puddle without it breaking all down okay. um, and being messy. OK, so they, they don't just look pretty. They've got a sort of real function. There's function as well. As well. You know, okay. we had to go through probably 20 or 30 different mould designs to, to see the one that you're, you're using okay. there. OK, so no wonder it took two years to come to market. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So Katie, how big a splash of puddles made? So really well, so it launched into the market in April, it's already a four and a half million pound brand. Four um, and a half million? Four and okay. a half million. Yep. Um, Cabadero Milk Hazelnut um, Puddle is actually the second fastest selling skew with mint being the fourth. Um, and we already know it's been hugely incremental to the category as well. Okay, so um, we know that Marvelous Creations has struggled a bit this year. Um, how long do you think puddles can continue to grow? So like all organisations, we do continue to innovate into the market. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a crystal ball and there will be some SKUs that work really well with our consumers and others that aren't as strong. I think even Marvellous Creations Jelly Pop and Candy has exceeded all our expectations as well. Um, and that's what our job is, to continue to innovate, to keep exciting the category and bringing new consumers into, into the category too. OK, well, long may it continue. Um, I've got a lot of chocolate to eat now, so see ya. Mm -hmm.